On Thursday, sir, the time is very short. My father Capulet will have it so, and I am nothing slow to slack his haste. You say you do not know the lady's mind. Uneven is the course. I like it not. Immoderately, she weeps for Debalt's death, and therefore have a little talking of love. Now, sir, her father counts it dangerous that she doth give her sorrow so much sway, and in his wisdom hastes our marriage, to stop the undulation of her tears, which too much minded by herself alone may be put from her by society. Now do you know the reason of this haste? Look, sir, here comes the lady to a Happily met, my lady and my wife. That I be, sir, when I may be alone. That may be, must be, on love. Thursday next. What well, must be, shall be. That's a certain text. Come you to make confession to this father. To answer that, I should confess to you. Do not deny to him that you love me. I will confess to you that I love him. So will we, I am sure, that you love me. If I do so, it will be more of price. Being spoke behind your back than to your face. Um, Poor soul, thy face is much abused with tears. The tears have got small victory by that, for it was bad enough before their spite. Thou wrongest it more than tears with that report. That is no slander, sir, which is a truth, and what I spake, I speak it to my face. Thy face is mine, and thou hast slandered it. It may be so, for it is not mine own. Are you at leisure, holy father, now, or shall I come to you at evening mass? My leisure serves me, because of daughter and up. My lord, you mustn't treat the time alone. God shield, I should disturb devotion. Juliet, on Thursday early will I rouse ye. Till then, adieu, and keep this holy kiss. Oh, shut the door. Come wait with me. Past hope, past cure, past help. Ah, uh, Juliet, I already know thy gift. I hear thou much, that nothing may prorogue it. On Thursday next, be married to this county. Tell me not, friar, that thou hearst of this, unless thou tell me how I may prevent it. If in thy wisdom thou canst give no help, with this knife I'll help it presently. Give me some present counsel, or behold, twist my extremes, me and this bloody knife shall play the umpire. Be not so long to speak, I long to die. If what thou speakest, speak not of remedy. Oh, daughter, I do spy a kind of hope. If... Rather than the merry county pairs, thou hast the strength of will to spite thyself, then it is likely thou wilt undertake a thing like death to chide away the shame. And if thou darest, I will give thee remedy. Oh, bid me leap rather than merry pairs, from off the battlements of yonder tower, or walk in thievish ways, or bid me lurk where serpents are, or shut me nightly in the charnel house, or covered quite with dead men's rattling bones, with reeky shanks and yellow chapless skulls. And I will do it without fear or doubt, to live and understand wife to my sweet love. Hold then, go home, be merry, give consent to Mary Paris. Wednesday, tomorrow, tomorrow night, look that thou lie alone, thou take this vial. Being then in bed, and this distilled liquor, drink thou off. No warmth, no breath shall testify thou livest. And in this borrow likeness of trunk death, thou shalt continue two and forty hours, and then awake as from a pleasant sleep. Now, when the bridegroom in the morning comes, there art thou dead. Thou shalt be born to that same ancient vault where all the kindred of the Capulets lie. In the meantime, shall Romeo by my letters know our drift, and hither shall he come, and he and I will watch thy with thee. Give me, give me, up, tell me not a fear. Be strong and prosperous. I'll send a friar with speed to Mantua, my letters to thy lord. Lord, give me strength, and strength shall help afford. Farewell to the father. So many guests invite us here over it. Sir, I'll go hire me twenty cunning hooks. Go be gone. What, is my daughter gone to Friar Lawrence? I forsooth. Well, he may chance to do some good on her. See where she comes from shrift with merry look. How now, my head strong? Where have you been? Where have I learned me to repent the sin of disobedient opposition? And beg your pardon, pardon, I beseech you. Henceforward, I am forever ruled by you. Send for the county. Go tell him of this. I'll have this knot knit up tomorrow morning. I met the youthful lord at Lawrence's cell. Why, I'm glad on it. This is well. Stand up. This is as it should be. Nurse, will you go with me into my closet to help me sort such needful ornaments as you think fit to furnish me tomorrow? No, not till Thursday. There's time enough. Go, nurse. Go with her. We'll to church tomorrow. We shall be short. Tis now near yeah. night. What are you busy, ho? Need you my help? No, madam. So please you, let me now be left alone. Good night. Farewell, God's knows when we shall meet again. I have a faint cold.
<laughs> it thrills through my veins. What if this mixture does not work at all? What if it be a poison which the friar suddenly have mistered to have my, me dead? How if when I am laid into the tomb, I wake before the time that Romeo come to redeem me? Oh, if I wake, shall I not be distraught, environed with all these hideous fears? Romeo, I come. To this I drink to thee. The Mistress, Juliet, what, not a word, you take your penny worse now. Sleep for a week, the next night I warrant, the Count of Paris has set up his rest that you shall rest but little. <laughs> I must needs wake her. Ah, oh, let the county take you in your bed, he'll fright you up, I think. Will it, will it not be? Alas, alas, help, help, my lady's dead! What noise is here? Her lord has come. She's dead, deceased. Alack the day. She's dead. Alack the day. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. Ha! Huh? Let me see her. Mm. Out at last. She's cold. Her blood is settled and her joints are stiff. <laughs> oh, lamentable day. A woeful time. Death that is taking her hence to make me wail ties up my tongue and will not let me speak. <laughs> Come, is the bride ready to go to church? Ready to go, but never to return. Death is my son-in-law, death is my heir. My daughter he has wedded, I will die and leave him all. Life will living all is death. Have I thought long to see this morning's face? And doth it give me such a sight as this? A cursed, wretched, a hateful day! A woeful, a woeful, a woeful, a woeful day! Beguiled, divorced, wrong, spited, slain. Despised, distressed, hated, martyred, killed. Peace, ho, for shame. Confusion's cure lives not in these confusion. Heaven and yourself had pardoned this fair maid. Now heaven hath all. Your pardon her you cannot keep from death, but heaven keeps his pardon eternal life. Dry up your tears, for though fond nature bids us in lament, Yet nature's tears are reason's merriment. All things that we ordain festival turn from their office to black funeral, our instruments to melancholy bells. Sir, go you in, and madam, go with him. And go, Sir Paris, every one prepare to follow this fair course unto her grave. Move them no more by crossing their high will. Faith, we may put up our pipes and be gone. Musicians are musicians, heart's ease, heart's ease. Oh, and you will have me live, play heart's ease. Why heart's ease? Oh, musicians, because my heart itself plays, my heart is full of woe. Oh, play me some merry dump to comfort me. Not a dump, we. Tis no time to play now. You will not then? No. I will then give it to you soundly. What will you give us? No money on my faith, but the gleek. I will give you the minstrel. Then I will give you the serving creature. Then will... Will I lay the serving creature's dagger on your potato? I will carry no crochets. I'll ray you. I'll fall you. Do you note me? And you ray us and fall us. You note us. Pray you, put up your dagger and put out your wit. Then have at you with my wit. I will drive each you with an iron wit and put up my iron dagger. Answer me like men. When griping grief the heart doth wound, and doleful dumps the mind oppress, then music with her silver sound. Why silver sound? Why music with her silver sound? What say you, Simon Catling? Mary, sir, because silver hath a sweet sound. Pretty. What say you, Hugh Grebick? I say silver sound, because musicians sound for silver. Pretty, too. What say you, James Soundpost? Faith, I know not what to say. Oh, I cry you mercy. You are the singer. I will say for you. It is music with their silver sound, because musicians have no gold for sounding. Then music with their silver sound, with speedy help, doth lend redress. Oh... <laughs> <laughs> what a pestilent knave is the same. Hang him, Jack. Come, we'll in here, tarry for the mourners, and stay dinner. <laughs>